What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? And today's video is gonna be something pretty new on the channel. Um, it's just gonna be a one-time video though, and I'm gonna be recording and I guess making a video on my fantasy basketball draft that's about to happen. So yeah, I don't normally do fantasy basketball. I've done it actually, well, I, that's kind of a lie. I've done it the last three years on Yahoo, but I haven't been too serious with it. But um, I'm doing it with my friends this year on ESPN. I have four fantasy football leagues. I do fantasy baseball, which I actually enjoy more than most people i would say but yeah i'm giving fantasy basketball a try um me and my nine friends are doing this it's 10 team league i think we're doing like a 20 dollars buy-in but yeah i'm just gonna record my draft i think this is a video you guys may like i'm not gonna make this a series or anything because i don't know i don't really think i would find too much um content to maybe put out week to week basis but if you guys maybe want to see it let me know in the comments but yeah i have the fifth pick in the draft I don't know much about fantasy basketball in regards to like who like ADP, where you should draft players, who's like sleepers, stuff like that. I'm just going to go off NBA players. I think that will have a good season. Um, it's like one point for a point, uh, one for assists, one for rebounds, two for steals, two negative two for turnovers. I believe it's also two for blocks. Um, I think it's negative 0.25 for a missed field goal. And then I think you get a point for a made free throw. And then I think negative 0.5 for a missed or one for a miss or negative two for a miss. I don't know. Um, and then I think you get five for a double-double and then 10 for a triple-double. Something like that. And if you get a quadruple-double, it's like 50 points. So, yeah. Um, the first pick was Giannis. All right. I'm kind of hoping mm, Davis, Jokic, or Harden falls to me. Well, there goes Anthony Davis. That's my friend. He's a Lakers. Well, he's a LeBron fan. So, I guess that's why he went Davis. Um, so, yeah. I am here with the fifth pick. I think I'm going to go Towns, Jokic, or Harden, whoever is left out of those three. LeBron, he might get a couple rest games, stuff like that. Even though he's probably a great pick, I'm not going to go with him. Curry also could be a really nice selection there. Maybe I'll have to so decide between Jokic or Curry, but we'll see who goes here at three, four, and then five. So, I don't know. I'm probably just going to record, like, right before I pick and then, obviously, on the pick. So, uh, I don't know. So, I have the, what pick do I have in the second round? I have 16. Okay, so... Um, DeAndre Aiden, wow, he's ranked 16th, that's very high, um, Julius Randle's 19th, alright, Zion's 22nd, I feel like someone's gonna take him in the first round, just because it's Zion, um, so yeah, this, this person is taking his time, sorry about that, okay, so he goes James Harden, alright, so I'm probably gonna go either Kat or Jokic here, uh, with the, uh, fifth pick, whoever, um, my friend takes here, okay, so you can kind of hear that I'm on the clock, there we go, I can actually maybe raise the desktop volume here, um, so, Towns went, so I am actually gonna draft, I think, Jokic, where do I go Curry? I might go Curry, if we're being honest. I don't know. See, like, it's hard to really decide. Um, you get one point guard, one center, one every position, and then three utilities. Um, you get five bench and I think two IR slots. So I have to decide here between Curry or Jokic. Um, they're projecting Jokic to have, actually Curry to have more points. Um, or maybe that, yeah, that's projected. You know what? Curry's going to be the number one. Well, a lot of people think he might be MVP. Even though Jokic is going to give you rebounds and assists, I'm going to take Steph Curry. It's Steph freaking Curry. So I get my point guard in Steph Curry. Um, I think my one friend with the seventh pick is going to be an auto pick for like the first two picks. So uh, Jokic did go six. All right, so we're finishing up the first round here. I believe the second round just started. I mean, a dream here would be Ben Simmons. He's not going to fall to me, I think. So I do like Siaka. Maybe he's the number one in Toronto. Westbrook also, because you know what? He'll give me, obviously, points, rebounds, and assists. Aiden could be a nice piece here. Gobert. I mean, Ben Simmons is the dream, but he's not falling to me at 16. Uh, so, MB just went 10th. LeBron fell to 9. Beal went at 8. I mean, he's going to play a lot of minutes, so that's not a bad pick. And then Willard went 7. So, Drummond just went. Obviously, he's the rebound king in the NBA. Do I go Zion? No, I'm not going to take Zion. Paul George would also be an interesting pick here, but he will also be... Um, Missing, I believe, the first 10 games of the season. Sorry, I keep looking back. The Steelers and the Chargers are currently playing. Uh, so, Dodgers goes. All right. That's a, that's a nice pick. That's a nice pick in the second round. Uh, like I said, Ben Simmons, someone's on auto pick, so Ben Simmons won't be falling to me no matter what. That would be a dream. So, I got to start thinking here, who's my second round pick? John Collins is ranked pretty high. I mean, Aiden, I think, is in store for a big year. Gobert also, but... Mm, I, okay, Siakam or Simmons here, but I, if both of them are off the board, I might go Westbrook, but I already have my point guard. So we could try to knock out center. We could go Kyrie. I might go Kyrie, actually. I don't know. See, I don't know if that's a reach. I'm picking right in the middle, which I don't like sometimes because it's a pretty big gap between each pick as Devin, Delvin Hodges is going to drop back and he finds Deontay Johnson. Sorry about that. So yeah, um, I'm up next as Westbrook goes. Okay, so don't take Siakam. Please don't take Siakam. I really want Pascal Siakam. I don't think he's going to go Siakam either. Because uh, I'm definitely going to take Siakam if he were to fall. If not, I might go... 
I might go... I don't know. Vucevic isn't a bad idea either. Paul George, but like I said, he's going to miss some time. So if he's there in the third round, then I'll make my pick there. Um, but yeah, let's see what he goes. So Westbrook did go. Simmons, unfortunately. So he got Simmons and Beal. That's a nice one too. Um, yeah, that's what's kind of nice about picking 10 and 11. You get two pretty solid players. And he goes Zion. Yeah, I knew he was going to go kind of early. So I'm actually not going to think about this too much. I'm going to go to the number one in Toronto in Pascal Siakam. So I'm going to take Pascal here with my second round pick. And guys, I'm targeting in the third round. Kyrie Irving would be the absolute dream. Don't think he's going to fall. So other guys could be Drew Holiday. Kawhi Leonard? Whoa. Okay, Kawhi Leonard also. Okay, Kyrie, Kawhi. I might even take George there. De'Aaron Fox, Blake, okay, I'm actually gonna go Blake, Kawhi, or Kyrie, hopefully, with my third round pick. Yeah, so there goes Kyrie and Kawhi Leonard, unfortunately, so I think my next pick here, I don't know, I, I'm, I don't know if I want to just go utility right away, I don't think it matters, I like Blake, and I don't think Blake's gonna fall to me there, um, Jimmy Butler goes, not really a huge fan of Jimmy, as it's a third and fourth for Delvin Hodges, and he's gonna find Connor, who is gonna actually get the first down, he's a beast, uh, so yeah, Jimmy Butler goes, sorry, I won't be doing that anymore, um, I don't know, like, Fabian Tunis is ranked really high, uh, Ennis Canner also, Trey Young, Donovan Mitchell, I don't think he falls to me in round four, so I really gotta think about this here, like, guys like these might fall till the third or fourth round, I don't know, I like De'Aaron Fox, but I already got a point guard, but it doesn't matter that much, uh, so we'll see who goes here before I kind of start thinking about it too much, alright, so Vucevic and Aiden go, okay, so two top, set, well, two, I guess, top fantasy centers, um, I don't know, Tobias Harris is also a GC pick here, Aldridge is gonna get his fix, so will Randall, they're projecting, I guess, Collins to have a big season, uh, I don't know, I might go Drew Holiday, but, see, we're gonna fill up the stat sheet, maybe like a Blake Griffin would, so I think I might go Blake, I already got my, pa I don't know, I don't know how I want to do this, uh, it's gonna be a tough decision here, uh, as I am on the clock, next, alright, so, uh, I'm really torn here, Tatum is also a guy I like a lot, did Kemba Walker go, um, no, Kemba's actually rated lower than Rozier in fantasy. So that's why I don't get fantasy at all. It's completely out of the blue. So John Collins goes there. Hmm. I kind of want to go Fox. I kind of want to go Blake. I kind of want to go Blake. I don't know. I guess they're projecting uh, regression for Blake. I mean, is Mitchell really a third round pick? I mean, I could bank that he falls like a... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I can try to target Kemba or Mitchell or Booker. I mean, Devin Booker is also pretty nice. All right, I might go just... Mm, I feel like DeRozan is just going to give me 20 points a game. Um, I can play him at the three, so we'll Tobias Harris. All right, do I go Harris or DeRozan? That's the, that's the question here. Um, or do I just go Aldridge? Hmm. No, I'm going to go DeRozan. He's just going to be a consistent 20-point score for me. Um, he's still the number one in San Antonio mostly. So, yeah, it's not a sexy pick. But, you know, I feel like he's just consistent than most players that would have been here. That I don't know. I like, is your holiday a good fantasy selection? I don't know. It's not like you get points for defensive box plus minus and VORP and all that stuff. All right, I'm really happy. James Conner just got a receiving touchdown. So my two targets here, Mitchell goes. Okay, so my guy is um, Kemba Walker. Please don't take him. Please don't take Kemba. That's the guy I really want to take here. See, like, DeAndre Jordan is rated higher than Kemba Walker. What? Um, so please just don't take Kemba, dude. I really want to go Kemba here. Um, they're projecting, but like, who is the most fantasy points projected? Rozier? I guess, right? Like, that would make sense. McCollum is still here. I could play him at the two. I kind of want to go Kemba. I'm going to go Kemba. If he doesn't go Kemba, I'm going to, or if he goes Kemba, I'm either going to pick probably McCollum or Blake. Um, I don't know. So we'll see who he picks. He's going to take his nice and daddy time. I'm kind of mad Mitchell didn't, f I would have loved Mitchell there. I would have loved Mitchell. And maybe Mitchell will have a better season than uh, DeRozan will. So, hey, I might regret that pick a lot. But I just feel like DeRozan is just going to be consistent. Um, and he's usually healthy, right? I'm not going to not gonna overthink that one. So, come on. Come on. Make your pick. Make your pick. Uh, Devin Booker went. That would have also been a nice pick. Fourth round for Devin Booker. I kind of wish I had like 10 or 1. And he takes Blake Griffin. All right. So, I'm going to go Kemba Walker here. He'll be my first utility guy. Uh, what do I go? Trey Young? I'm going to go Kemba. I'm going to go Kemba. He'll be my first utility guy. All right. So, guys, I'm targeting in the next round um see i don't know really uh middleton middleton i don't really know about mitchell robinson in fantasy porzingis could be but i don't know if he's gonna get a minute restriction mike conley chris paul yeah it's interesting so tobias harris just goes uh let me just go by rankings balance shoot is he like is he really a sexy pick not really um buddy healed i i'll probably go buddy i like buddy healed um marketin also buddy healed marketin is zach levine still here um Damn, Zach Levine's rated pretty low. So I'll actually probably go... If McCollum's there, 
I'll be very happy. I don't think McCollum falls. Um, I mean, he's pretty low, but someone's going to scroll down. Oh, it's CJ McCollum. So I don't think he'll be there. So unfortunately, uh, McCollum did go. So I'm very upset there. Uh, I don't know who really will fall to me. I mean, I could go Russell, play him at the two. I do need a center. And actually, centers are kind of hard to find. So I might go center here. I mean, I could... Mm, yeah. I mean, Jared Jackson Jr. would be a pretty nice center. And I think he would fall to the next round for me. Uh, so you know what? I think I'm going to go... Mm, who do I want to go here? DeAndre Russell's a nice pick, I feel. Zach Levine also, I feel like he's going to... No, there goes Russell. Okay. So I could go like Miles Turner because he'll get blocked. So I could wait for him. So I might go Zach Levine because he's going to be a 20 point per game score this year. So could Porzingis. But he's not really much of a rebounder. So you know what? I'm going to take a risky pick here and go Zach Levine. Um, that will move DeRozan to the three. Zach Levine will be my two. Um, and then, yeah, I got to really take a center with the next pick. There's not that many rounds in this. There's only what? Five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I guess 14 rounds. So I'm actually going to go Zach Levine here. Um, I don't know. I feel like he's just going to put up points. He might put up like four assists a night. Uh, but yeah, we'll see about that. So yeah, I take Zach Levine there. So my team is Steph Curry, DeRozan, Siakam, Walker, Levine. Don't know how I feel about that. Obviously, the waiver wire is going to be pretty big this year. Um, so you got to be focused on that. Rubio could be a nice pick. Obviously, he'll get a lot of assists. Rozier's still there. I actually could go Terry um, for there um, or for that pick. So we could go that. I think Jerry Jackson Jr. is going to be my next pick though. I think he'll fall. I don't think really everyone, anyone in this draft is going to be like, yeah, I want Jared Jackson Jr. All right, so I'm picking here in like five picks, and Jared Jackson Jr., of course, went. So I think Steven Adams is a center I could go. Even Thomas Bryant, I feel like, is a sneaky good pick. Sabonis, I don't know how long Nurkic will be out for, but I think I do need to go center. I mean, Al Horford, Dwight Powell, and Steiner rated pretty high as Rubio goes. Um, but yeah, I hate drafting like positional. <laughs> Lonzo. Um, I don't know. Maybe Montrezl Harrell, but I don't know if he's going to start. I guess... Should start, honestly. I mean, I could go Mitch Rob. You know what? I might go Mitchell Robinson. I might... Oh, I mean, Valanchunas is still there. Okay, I'm going Valanchunas if he stays. Of course, now that I said that, he won't be there. Um, but I don't think that's really a sexy pick to a lot of people. So maybe he will fall to me. Um, if not, I might... I'm either going to go Steven Adams uh, or Robinson. Maybe Miles Turner because he is a block machine. But I could maybe get Miles Turner in the seventh round as Kevin Love goes. So we have two more picks here until I'm up. I am praying that... um. Valanchunas doesn't go because 25th ranked player. I mean, I'm getting him in the 50s. So, I mean, somebody might, one of these two players might be like, or teams, um, might be like, oh, I think the same thing. I'm going to take him. So, uh, he's taking his sweet old time, of course. Uh, but I think, yeah, that's my choice. And then, I don't know. I don't know who I really touch after that. Maybe Lou Will. He could be a fun pick. Porzingis, um, Aaron Gordon, RJ Barrett. Yeah, so there's definitely some fun picks. Wendell Carter Jr., Shea Gilgis. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot more. Uh, picks I would like after that. And he gets auto He takes Lou Will. Okay. Uh, so please don't take Valanchunas. Please don't take Valanchunas. He usually picks quickly, I feel. So don't take Valanchunas. Please don't take Valanchunas. It's the worst when you want a player really bad when they take him. The pick before you. It always happens. That always happens to me in fantasy football. So come on. Just don't take Valanchunas. Don't take Valanchunas. You know you don't want to. You know you don't want to. Don't take Valanchunas. All right. He took Otto Porter Jr. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to take Jonas Valanciunas. He will be my uh, starting center for this year. So now I can get out of that. Um, and yeah, we can kind of just go off whoever I want to draft now. I don't know who's going to be my next pick. Mike Conley. That's an early consideration there. Uh, I could go Mike Conley. Rozier, I might go. Like, he's going to put up numbers. I mean, his efficiency will be bad. You get minus 0.25 for a missed field goal. I don't know. Maybe I will go Rosier with my next pick. We'll see. All right, so I'm selecting here in three picks, and I really don't know who to go as Porzingis, Whiteside, Rosier, and Chris Paul just went. Mike Conley, somebody I love. Um, Aaron Gordon, but I think Aaron Gordon could also fall to the next round because he's kind of low here. I mean, RJ Barrett's going to go because, like, most of these kids are Knicks fans because we're all from New York. Um, so I might go uh, Barrett if he falls. I mean, I think I'm going to go Aaron Gordon next. Uh, or no, I'm going to go Mike Conley, I think. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. if Actually, his points might dip this year, playing behind Bowie. Or I think it might be the third option behind Bowie and Mitchell. And Devin Bush is hurt. I kind of want to cry. Okay. Uh, Kyle Lowry. I mean, I might go Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, there, there goes Barrett. Uh, it's definitely a reach. All right, you know what? I'm going to go I'm gonna go Mitch Rob. Um, maybe Dar Aaron Gordon will fall to me. And then I could go... Mm, who do I like down here? Josh is just I wish. Culver, Joe Harris, Herbie, Josh, Dinwiddie might be a fun pick. Colin Sexton is actually, I think, a sneaky good pick down there. 
All right, so I'm up in two picks. We'll see. Um, I guess he's mad I'm taking his picks. All right. Um, well, there goes Mitchell Robinson. So I'm not drafting Mitch Rob. Oh, that hurts. All right, so who am I going to go here? Do I want Conley? Do I want Conley is the question. Um, I mean, Gallo's nice, but I don't know if how I like him in... And, uh, what's this called? In, um, uh, okay, see, wow, I can't speak. Context sense of reach. Butso could be an interesting piece here. Uh, I mean, Thomas Bryan also might be pretty good in fantasy. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna go Miles Turner, actually. He'll get blocks. He's not the greatest rebound in the world, but he'll fill the backup center role in case Valanciunas is hurt or something for a week. So I'm glad I got two centers and two solid centers as well. So my next round is probably gonna be just keep going BPA. Aaron Gordon's a guy. Um, that I'm going to target probably for next round. If Bledsoe or Conley fall, maybe one of those two guys. Um, Morant could be a fun pick. He'll get a lot of volume there in Memphis. I think Shea, actually. Shea might be my next pick. Um, just I uh, Jalen Brown is also a guy that I might go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll just see you guys with my next pick. All right, so I'm up here in three picks. And Lowry, Gallo, Canner, Thomas Bryant, Wiggins, and there goes Conley. Um, and Bledsoe have gone. So my next pick is going to be Aaron Gordon. Hoping he is there. Uh, the only person I don't think he'll go unless he takes some uh, team man G now. Um, I don't know. If he goes, then I got to find a plan B here. I mean, Horford's not. I mean, he'll get a lot of minutes. Miles Bridges, uh, I don't really know what season's going to go. Uh, Harrison Barnes, John Hunter. It's a bonus. I mean, I was going to take him earlier, maybe. So he could be actually Shea Go just. Okay, Miles Bridges goes. So nobody take Aaron Gordon. Please, I feel like Aaron Gordon's gonna go. Oh, Derek Favors, okay. That's an interesting pick. Um, come on, don't take Aaron Gordon. Don't take Aaron Gordon. Please don't take Aaron Gordon. Steven Adams is still here. I mean, I'll put up rebounds. I don't wanna take another center though. Uh, so yeah, please. Wait, that's not my team. Um, where am I? I'm Team Strauss. Uh, so come on, don't take Aaron Gordon. Please, please, please don't take Aaron Gordon. I'm gonna actually cry if he takes Aaron Gordon. Cause all the suspense building up just for him to take Gordon. And he takes another Magic player though. Um, and Terrence Ross. So I'm going to get Aaron Gordon. I'm going to snag my guy. Um, so, yeah. I wonder, is Roko still here, my boy? All right. My next pick is probably going to be Shane Gilgis Alexander. I'm expecting kind of a really good sophomore year from him. Uh, I could take him. We'll see kind of who falls. Colin Sexton also, he'll be a high-volume player. I feel like he'll just put up fantasy points. All right. So, my next two picks, I'm hoping to get two out of the three between Sexton, Brown, and uh, Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, I mean, Knox or Adebayo, I don't know if I really want Knox. Adebayo, that could be somebody. All right, so there goes Steven Adams, Ingles, uh, Wendell Carter Jr., Stein, Morant. So my guy, um, Shea just Alexander, is still here. I mean, Marcus Saul, Millsap, like, these aren't bad picks. I guess they're just not sexy picks. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go Gilgis Alexander with my next pick. Um, he would technically be my second. Oh, wow, I still technically need a small forward. Um, well, I guess, no, no, because I could put Lena Levine. <laughs> There goes Gilgis Alexander. Oh, damn it. All right. That's who I really, really wanted. Oh, that hurts. Oh, my God. All right. That really hurts. Um, I don't know if someone would take Tabor Zion. Damn. Mm, God damn it. I mean, well, Vert could be a fun pick. Wait, I'm not even up, so I don't even know what I'm doing. I thought I was up. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, I mean, I might go for uh, DeAndre Jordan's the no-no. I might go Horford. Another center I know, right? He took Richardson over Horford? Damn. Um, I don't know. See, this is where it gets really tough. Uh, I'm not taking Jalen Brown just yet. Small forwards. I'm not taking Roko. I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, maybe Falls. Um, Let's go. I'm taking Oladipo. I mean, how long is he going to be out for? Uh, hold on. I'm actually going to take Old Depot. We do have an IR slot, and I think it's a good idea to take Old Depot here. Stash him on the IR. He will play this year, right? I don't know if I have time to look it up. Old Depot, Roto World. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is he going to play this year? Is he, like, I, I, I didn't really need quite one minute, but the good news is he has experience any setbacks, so return it. Until February? Ugh. You know what? I think Sexton will be there in the next round, and that's the guy who I would have maybe taken anyway. So I'm going to take Old Depot. I'm going to stash him. Um, we do have an IR slot, I believe. Uh, that would be really embarrassing if we don't. I'm the commissioner, too, so I should know that. Okay, yeah, we get two IR slots. So, you know what? I'm going to just stash Old Depot there. Uh, and, yeah, I might go Bogey next pick. I'm going to go Brown or Se I'm actually going to go Sexton here, hoping he falls, but I doubt he does. 
I'm okay. I'm either gonna go Sexton or Dejounte Murray. I think with my next pick. All right, so I'm up at three picks, and Sexton did go. So I don't think I'm gonna take Jalen Brown yet, even though I don't think he'll fall because, um, actually he might because there's a Celtics fan in here, uh, Gould, and he might take Brown. So you know what? I'm gonna take Al Horford here. If you know what? Yeah, he'll be a bench guy. Uh, if not, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take Al Horford. I mean, if no one takes him, I mean, oh, yeah, people are taking Chair Culver. In front of Al Horford. Yeah, DeAndre Jordan, though, I, I don't think he'll be starting by the end of the year. That's why I'm not going to take him. Sarge also isn't a bad pick, um, but I'm going to go Al Horford. I, I think he will regress this year, but hey, he'll be my second bench guy. Yeah, you know what? That doesn't hurt. So I'm going to take um, him. Um, obviously, I'll have to pick somebody up after the draft because I'm going to move Old Depot immediately to the IR, but I think it'll be waivers once the draft ends. So I'm not going to guarantee that, or I won't be guaranteed that I get the guy. Although I think people that do it on their phone always leave and join. I think that's why that keeps happening. Someone to Kelly Uber. Yeah. Um... Uh, it's a bonus. Culver, can someone pick? All right, so Paul Millsap just won. I feel like that is a really late pick, and I feel like he's going to take Horford. I don't know. It's just when I have to set on a guy, it's it's that they usually go. So I'm going to be really upset if Al Horford does go here. Um, and okay, come on. Don't, don't, don't leave me too suspenseful here. I will get very upset if you do take Al Horford. Come on, know your pick, man. I wish people knew their picks, like, going into this. Come on! All right, still waiting here Um, if he's going to take Al Horford or not. And... <laughs> Come on. Oh, geez. It's not that hard. We're in the rounds where it's just like these picks aren't... I mean, Isaac, I gotta take my most improved guy. I'm just, I guess, hoping... Yeah, it takes Brickle. But that's a good pick, actually. Um, I'm gonna take out Horford here. Uh, someone's gotta take him. And then I think my next pick is gonna be Jonathan Isaac. Hoping he is there. Um, <laughs> Dwight Howard's actually ranked pretty high. Jeez. I mean, yeah, I could go Jalen Brown. Uh... Yeah, just kidding. Um, Jared Allen, also, if he takes a starting role. All right, I'm going to go. Who did I say I'm going to go? Isaac, if he is there. Uh, hoping he does have a breakout year, so we'll see. So my team is Curry, DeRozan, Tiago, Valanciunas, Kemba, Levine, Turner, Gordon, Oldebo, Horford. This injury prone looking at. Mm, I mean, Levine's had his injuries. Uh what aaron gordon oh, well old depot's hurt i mean horford is pretty old so he's not gonna probably play a full 82 game season uh but yeah i'm gonna take i'm gonna take isaac hopefully he's there with the next pick all right i know it's risky taking another celtic here because i already have Kemba walker but i think i'm gonna go gordon hayward and hope that he's somewhat solid this year uh so yeah we'll wait and see if he uh is still available because uh the guy i wanted um who was it jonathan isaac went like two picks after i selected so evan 48 goes all right, TJ Warren also would be kind of a fun pick here because he might get a lot of volume with... Um, yeah, it goes out of bio. Damn, I want it out of bio. So I could go Warren or Hayward here. I mean, Warren could have a really nice season. He might be the number one scoring option. Him, Jeremy Lamb. I don't know. I mean, Miles Turner might lead them in points. Do I go Warren? I feel like Warren's a nice pick here. You know, I'm going to go TJ Warren. No rhyme or reason. I'm going to go him over Hayward. Um, so yeah, he'll, he'll be kind of mainly before Old Debo gets back. And then obviously... Once Oladipo gets back, he might not be as valuable. All right, so I'm up in two picks. You can see the players on the right that went after Warren. Uh, so you have Gay, Howard, Jordan, Abaka, Allen, Hayward, Harris, Sarge, Alfred, Camino, and Clarkson. You know what? I'm going to take my boy. I'm going to go Rocco. And then I'll finish off with my last pick being a point guard. I don't know who that point guard would be. Maybe it'll be Dennis Smith Jr. Uh, but I'm going to take a point guard nonetheless. It's either going to be Shorter, Smith Jr. or DeJounte Murray. I might take DeJounte Murray. But they might ease him back in, so maybe he won't be as valuable. But yeah, I get my guy, Rocco. I'll see you guys with my final pick. Brandon Ingram went, which was kind of shocking. But yeah, Murray and Smith Jr. both went. So I'm either going to go Darius Garland just because it's a fun pick. Maybe he'll be a really good rookie out of the gate. We'll see. But I think, uh, or I might go Dennis Schroeder. Uh, but he well, is technically like the third point guard on roster. But he might be the first one off the bench. I don't know. Augustine is also another starting point guard. But I don't really know. Uh, Ingram fell all the way to the 13th round, which is pretty nice. So, immediately after this draft, I will be dropping Old Depot and picking up, I don't know, um, who, I mean, maybe I'll pick up one of these point guards, uh, one I don't get, well, there goes Rondo, uh, also Dwight Powell, he's here, he might be the starting center for them, uh, damn, he was pretty good last year, interesting, um, I'm uh, uh, no, I, I didn't say anything, Siri. So yeah, people are going to score a lot of points tonight. Like, yeah, 39 points a game. Uh, so I don't know here. Do I, with my last pick, Romeo Langford, uh, Kevin Knox, Rondo. Hmm, 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 I don't know. Nah, 
Josh Jackson. Uh, I'm gonna go Garland for. Do I go Garland for fun or shooter? You know, I might go shooter. He'll be the better pick, and then I might just drop over Depot and pick up Darius Garland. So yeah, my team is complete. I don't know if it'll load in now or load in once the draft is over. All right, so load in once the draft is over. All right, so the draft just completed. So this is the squad. In whoa, TJ Warren with an O already. I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna take that too. Uh, Seriously, but yeah, I'm gonna immediately move Oladipo to the IR, which I can't. Great, so maybe it's not confirmed that he's missing the whole season or whatever. Or, not whole season, but time of the season. So, you know, I'll do that once that happens. But yeah, that is my squad. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, I'm not a fantasy expert whatsoever. This is just who I think will have good seasons, so... Hoping it's a good, fun team. I don't know. The, the wings look a little bit rough, but... It, like, ultimately, my main lineup would be this. Um, and then we'd put DeRozan here... And then I'd most likely go Aaron Gordon over Warren. So, you know, that's a fun team. I kind of like it. So, yeah, that'll be for me. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments if you did. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.